If endangered bees became extinct, would it mean the end of certain crops? Is South Africa launching a 500 rand note and a 10 rand coin? Was there a massive breakthrough where cancer disappeared in all patients completely for the first time in history after a drug trial? Welcome to the next episode of What's Crap on WhatsApp, the voice note show that investigates the crap shared in your WhatsApp groups. I'm Andesua May from podcasting company, Volume. And I'm Taryn Corey from Africa Check, the continent's leading fact-checking organization. Let's investigate. First up for today, we have a graphic circulating widely on social media. It claims that seven species of bee are on the endangered species list. It adds that if all bees disappeared, strawberries, avocados, and coffee would also disappear. Coffee would disappear. That sounds awful. Are these claims really true? Well, bees play an important role in the ecosystem by pollinating a wide variety of crops. There are around 20,000 species of bee in the world. Wow, but bee populations have also been declining since the 1990s, along with other insects. Correct. And there are currently 18 species of bee on the endangered list, with another nine species classified as critically endangered and 16 species as vulnerable. Okay, but what about the claim that we will lose certain crops if these bees become extinct? An entomologist at the University of Minnesota in the U.S. told us that without bees, there would be a lower yield of crops, and they might be of a lower quality. This would eventually mean they would become less available. But these crops would still produce fruit and seeds and not disappear, he said. Another entomologist at Stellenbosch University told us that crops were not only pollinated by bees. This meant they would not disappear entirely if there were no bees. For example, avocados are also pollinated by other insects like wasps, beetles and flies. Coffee plants are pollinated by wasps, ants, flies and other insects, as well as by wind. And strawberry plants don't need pollinators in order to produce fruit. So it is true that several species of bee are on the endangered list, but the extinction of bees wouldn't mean the end of avocados, coffee and strawberries. So partly crap? Partly crap. Next up is a viral Facebook post that says, South Africa will launch a 500 rand money note and a 10 rand coin. Apparently, this is a sign of the rand losing value as inflation is hitting hard and existing notes are losing value. Prices of things are going up. Soon we'll have to buy a loaf of bread at 150 rand, the post says. That's crazy. The South African Reserve Bank produces and issues rands in banknotes and coins. The notes currently in circulation are valued at 10 rand, 20 rand, 50 rand, 100 rand, and 200 rand. That's right. But this message includes two photos, and the first appears to be a banknote with a zebra design, the South African Reserve Bank logo, and the number 500. The second is a coin showing lionesses and the number 10. Okay, and are the photos genuine? No. The first sign that the 500 rand note isn't genuine is that former President Nelson Mandela's image is missing. In 2005, the Reserve Bank included Mandela's face in the design of all South African banknotes. A reverse image search reveals that the 500 rand note first appeared online 14 years ago in 2008. It was posted on the user-generated design platform, Deviant Art. In the caption, the artist said this was a banknote they designed for a South African Reserve Bank competition. The Reserve Bank released a statement in early 2009 calling the banknote fake. And what about the 10 rand coin in the post? That is genuine, but you won't get it as change. It's a non-circulating gold bullion coin issued by the South African Mint, the coin-making subsidiary of the Reserve Bank. In 2003. Bullion coins are made from precious metals such as gold and silver. Their value is based on the metal, not the number on the coin. These claims are crap. Last on our list today is a claim that there has been a massive breakthrough with cancer research. It says, cancer disappears in all patients completely, first time in history after drug trial. The post has been viewed over 130,000 times so far. That's a serious claim. Is it true? Well, the post doesn't say when or where the drug trial took place, so we did some digging. In June 2022, international media reported on the results of a small U.S. study published that month. 
The findings were described as astonishing and promising. The study looked at a certain drug as a treatment for patients with rectal cancer. The drug, dostalamab, had previously been used to treat cancer of the uterus, endometrial cancer, and tumors. It helped the immune system identify and attack cancerous cells. The study was of 12 patients who were given the drug every three weeks for six months. All 12 had a clinical, complete response, with no cancerous tumors being detected. The report says no patients had received chemoradiotherapy or undergone surgery, and no cases of progression or recurrence had been reported during follow-up. The follow-up time ranged from 6 to 25 months. But the report does not call dostalamab a cure, saying longer follow-up is needed to assess the duration of response. Medical experts told the New York Times, a U.S. newspaper, that they considered the 100% success rate unheard of. This claim is not crap. That's all the time we have for today. Now you know what's crap and what's not. Your friends and family can sign up for our show over WhatsApp. The number is 082-709-3527. Make sure to save us as a contact in your phone and send us a message. You can find the show wherever you get your podcasts, from Apple to Spotify. If you listen there, you'll find show notes and a link to the fact checks. Remember that you can send us a WhatsApp message, a picture, video link, or voice notes that you need fact checked. Just forward them to us on WhatsApp. Our theme song is composed by John Bartman. I'm Taryn Curry. And I'm Andy Suame. Bye for now. Volume.